Tupac murder suspect, Dwayne Keefe Davis, who was arrested last year, have spilled his guts about seeing Diddy Combs before federal-rated music moguls, Miami and LA mansions, retired FBI agent claims. Federal raids on seeing Diddy Combs' mansions was linked to the recent arrest of a gangster over rapper Tupac Shakur's 1,996 murder. A former FBI agent who investigated the killing said Phil Carson, a retired head of the Los Angeles FBI office, said that information backing search warrants for Combs' LA and Florida properties may have come from the alleged murder accomplice, Duane Keefe Davis, who was charged last year. Carson is an expert on hip-hop criminals and kingmakers of the 1990, after spending years probing police corruption around the shootings of Shakur and his East Coast rap rival Biggie Smalls, a K, a Christopher Wallace. In an interview, he pointed to Davis's arrest on September 29 last year over his admitted involvement in Shakur's murder, which he claimed was a $1 million hit ordered by Combs, though the music producer denies it. Phil Carson, an ex-FBI agent who worked on Tupac's case, said the murder suspect, Duane Keefe D. Davis, could spill his guts about Diddy, pointing to Davis's looming life sentence. Carson said, who's to say Keefe didn't start throwing stuff out there to potentially save his ass? Davis, who was arrested and charged in Tupac's 1996 murder last year, had previously claimed the killing was a $1 million hit ordered by Sing Dighty Combs. Federal raids on Scene Diddy Combs' mansions could be linked to the recent arrest of a gangster over rapper Tupac Shakur's 1,996 murder. A former FBI agent who investigated the killing said, Phil Carson, a retired head of the Los Angeles FBI office, said that information backing search warrants for Combs' LA and Florida properties may have come from the alleged murder accomplice, Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, who was charged last year. Carson is an expert on hip-hop criminals and kingmakers of the 1990 after spending years probing police corruption around the shootings of Shakur and his East Coast rap rival Biggie Smalls, a K, a Christopher Wallace. In an interview, he pointed to properties. Davis's arrest on September 29 last year over his admitted involvement in Shakur's murder, which he claimed was a $1 million hit ordered by Combs, though the music producer denies it. Inside, Diddy's trashed Miami mansion after feds raided. Carson described how a looming life sentence could now be forcing former gangster Davis, 60, to spill new secrets about Combs, 54, to investigators. It's not like the olden days of the Italian mafia where everybody kept their mouth shut, the ex-bureau agent said. As soon as somebody has handcuffs on them, they'll sell out their own mom now. Keefe's arrest is a game changer because they have something over him. And that's when he may start spilling his guts. He's an OG from out here, added Carson, referring to the shorthand term for original gangster. He's rubbed shoulders with a lot of the big shots. Every one of those guys has a story to tell about how the streets were run back then. So who's to say Keefe didn't start throwing stuff out there that he hasn't talked about before to potentially save his ass? That's not to say it's the reason federal law enforcement executed these warrants on Diddy's house, he cautioned. But it would be interesting to know what the evidence is and where that evidence came from that they put in these affidavits to get both these search warrants. It's got to be something of substance. As part of a 2008 temporary immunity deal, Davis told LAPD detectives that Combs offered him $1 million to murder death row records boss Suge Knight. He took me downstairs and he's like, man, I want to get rid of them dudes, man. I was like, we'll wipe their ass out quick, man. It's nothing. Davis told police in a recorded confession reported by LA Weekly in 2011. Davis said that on September 7, 1996, his crew pulled up alongside Knight and Shakur on Las Vegas Boulevard and he handed a Glock pistol to his nephew Orlando Anderson who unloaded it into Shakur's BM Dubal, you killing the West Coast rapper and wounding. Ninth, Davis repeated his story outside of the immunity deal, including in a memoir, allowing Vegas police to arrest him for the murder on September 29, 2023. 
However, there has been no explicit connection of Shakur's murder investigation with the raids on Monday by Homeland Security, HSI agents of Combs's Homey Hills and Miami mansions. Instead, they were reportedly in connection with a sex trafficking investigation. The Bad Boy Records founder's lawyer, Aaron Dyer, released a statement on Tuesday calling the probe a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits referring to claims of sex abuse by Combs. Combs was sued by an anonymous woman last year who claimed he and two friends took turns violently raping her when she was 17 years old after plying her with drugs and alcohol. The Jane Doe claimed in a shocking lawsuit that the 54-year-old rapper flew her to his New York studio in 2003 and plied her with copious amounts of drugs and alcohol. The anonymous accuser, now in her late 30, backed her bombshell claims with a photo of herself sitting on the eye, I'll be missing you singer's lap and goofing around in his Manhattan studio. She is the fourth woman to accuse him in a lawsuit of sexual assault. Her suit followed a legal complaint by R&B singer Cassie Ventura, 37 years old, who said Combs subjected her to savage beatings, drug-addled hotel orgies, and rape. Cassie settled with him the day after her lawsuit became public in November. Combs was hit with more legal troubles just days after the settlement, when two women, identified as Liza Gardner and Joy Dickerson Neal, filed separate lawsuits claiming they were sexually assaulted by the music mogul in the early 1990s. Another alleged victim of Combs came forward in December 2023 to accuse the hip-hop mogul and his entourage of brutally gang-raping her when she was 17 years old. Then in late February, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a music producer who worked with Combs, filed a lawsuit that he was made to solicit sex workers and perform sex acts to the pleasure of Mr. Combs in 2022 and 2023. He said underage girls were present at these sex parties at Combs LA Miami in New York Homes, as well as on a rented yacht in the US Virgin Islands. Combs threatened to eat Mr. Jones' face, according to his lawsuit, and even drugged him before sexual encounters. Combs attorney Sean Holly said, we have overwhelming indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Douglas Wigdor, an attorney for Cassie and another one of the Jane, does accusing Combs, responded to the HSI raid in a statement said we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Like and subscribe for more daily updates.